So that's the big new idea today. I'm going to give you just two more examples of um, doing this conversion and working from one to another, and then we're going to go. Okay, how's that sound? Yeah? Okay. Let me do another one. How about log base 5 of 25? What's that going to be equal to? How long, if you're growing it five times, if you're quintupling each step of the way, how long will it take you to get to 25? Two. Two. Another way of thinking about it is, what power do I have to raise this to to get to that? And the answer is five squared. Uh, which means, what exponential equation would you write that goes with this guy? Five squared is 25. Okay, that's not too complicated. All right, how about, I'm gonna go over here. Whoopsie daisy. I'm gonna pick one of the ones that they've given us. Oh, this is a bit of a, this is a, this is a hard one. Okay, this is more challenging. Hmm. Mm. Have a look. This is more challenging because look, that, that looks gross. That's not even a whole number, okay? But you think about this. Just like I said over here, this number here, 4, is like, what power do I have to raise 3 to to get 81? Well, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. What power do I have to raise 5 to to get 25? And the answer is 5 squared will give me 25. So what power do I have to raise that to to get this? Any takers? Yeah, what do you reckon, Nathan? Okay, let's try this out. Let's just give this a go because we'll, we'll learn something, right? The square root of 3, if I raise it to the power of 4, we're going to learn something, right? This is root 3 times root 3 times root 3 times root 3, isn't it? So this is certainly getting us closer. It's on the way, isn't it? What's that equal to? Just the first two. That's, that's three. What about these? Also three. So this gets us to nine. That's close to what we want. How many more times do I have to do it to get to there? Instead of doing it four times, I should do it six times, shouldn't I? That's going to be six times. That's going to be 27. Okay. Another way you can confirm that, by the way, is... In index notation, you can write root 3, can't you, without a square root sign? How would you write it in index notation? 3 to the power of what? The square root of 3. Do you remember? This was tricky. Fractional indices. This is 3 to the power of a half. 3 to the power of a half? If I'm raising that to the power of 6, what do I do with those indices? What happens to them? Yeah, they multiply across. So this is 3 cubed, which is 27, like we said. So therefore, let me say it again, and in fact, I'll even write it. I'll even write it, and maybe you want to write it as well because it's such a helpful lens for looking at this. What power must I raise, bless you, root 3 to so that the answer is what? what have a look. I want, I want 27, right? Question mark. And we've just found out the power that we want is 6. Done skin. Okay. So this is a weird new idea. I haven't explained yet why looking at things from this perspective rather than this perspective is going to be useful. That is something we will explore in the coming days. Okay.